everyone, I'm Amelia. In today's video, we're going to talk about the posting trot. And let me know in the comments if you struggle with the posting trot. And also if you struggle figuring out how to actually use your leg effectively in the posting trot. I know this is something that a lot of people struggle with. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over some tips first of all to get you posting correctly. And then secondly, to help you figure out how to be effective with using your leg in the posting trot. The posting trot is a really useful tool because it allows you to kind of get up off of your horse's back and give your horse a little bit more freedom. I always start out my ride in posting trot. And if I have a young horse or a horse that gets a little tense in their back, I'm really careful not to do too much sitting trot because it can, like if you aren't sitting nicely on your horse, if you're bouncing at all, or if you're tense, it can be really uncomfortable for the horse and cause them to get back sore and even more tense. So we're gonna start off here talking about how to post the trot correctly. And I'm not the best at posting trot, but a couple of things to really think about. The biggest one is that in posting trot, you want to think about pivoting around your knee. So imagine that like your femur extended out past your knee and you really want to think about kind of pushing your knee forward and downward. So like I'm driving my femur forward and downward into the thigh block. And what this does is it gives you a pivot point for then your seat to be going up and down when you're in the posting trot. So I've got my knee locked in, my lower leg should be still. So when you're in the posting trot, if you were to look basically just from the knee down, you shouldn't be able to tell whether I'm posting or sitting. So sitting, posting. My lower leg stays the same. Sitting, posting. Now another thing that's really important about the sitting trot is that as you're going up and down in the saddle, your elbows need to bend and straighten. So as I'm going here, my elbows are bend straight, bending, straighten, bending, straighten, bending, bend straight, bend straight, bend straight, bend straight, bend straight. If you don't bend and straighten your elbows in the posting trot, your hands end up going posting out also. So you don't want your hands to post, right? So you have to have a little suppleness and elasticity in your elbows here, that your elbows are bending a little more, bending a little less, so that your hands maintain that same position. So those are just some tips to help get you posting correctly. Now let's say that I want to ask my horse to go faster in the posting trot. The only time that you can put your leg on is when your butt is in the saddle. So it would be now, 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 good boy. And then come back a little. So if I wanna kick him, it's gotta be kick. Kick when my butt is in the saddle. Kick, kick, kick. See how I, I'm exaggerating, but see how I can only kick when my butt goes in the saddle. You cannot kick, here's what happens. Sorry, settle down, buddy. If I try to kick when I'm out of the saddle, it's like impossible. Like there's no way that you can kick when you're coming out of the saddle. So the only time that you can put your leg on is now kick, kick, kick. Good boy. Now let's talk about your posting trot in the leg yield. So if I'm gonna ride a leg yield and I wanna be in posting trot, you'll notice that since I just told you that you can only kick when your butt's in the saddle, that would be now, 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 now. But that's the incorrect timing because in a leg yield, I need this leg to talk to the right hind leg. So to be effective with your leg in a leg yield, you actually want to post on the incorrect diagonal. So I'm going to change my diagonal so that now I'm going 
now, 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 and that's way more effective. Then you can change your diagonal back at the end of the leg yield. But then again, if you want to do a leg yield in posting trot and your horse isn't listening to your leg, change your posting diagonal so that when your butt is in the saddle, now, 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 you close your leg when the inside hind leg is leaving the ground. Good oh boy. Let me just change direction and show you that one time the other way. Posting trot is such a useful tool. So if you can figure out how to coordinate everything. Again, if I'm on the correct diagonal, it's hard because when my butt's in the saddle, it's now, 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 and it, I'm putting my leg on at the wrong time. So for the leg yield, if you feel like your horse is just really not listening to your leg, change your posting diagonal so that when your butt is in the saddle, now, now, leg, 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 it's talking to that left hind leg and getting it to cross over. Good boy. Good job, buddy. So let me know in the comments if those tips are helpful to you. Again, like if you're feeling like your horse is too lazy, if they're not listening to your leg, the goal is always that you don't have to kick your horse, right? So if you're having to kick your horse a lot, I would recommend doing some transitions, like some quick transitions, trot, walk, trot, to get your horse more responsive to your leg so that you, then you um, don't feel like you have to be kicking your horse so much. So I hope this was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments what you have to add and I'll see you in the next video.